Qatar's foreign minister calls for protection of Ukraine's territorial integrity. Meanwhile, Airbus hits back at Qatar Airways with $220 million legal claims. Also on the roundup, stay tuned to find out effective ways to adapt that can also lower emissions. And finally, are all motorcycle enthusiasts ready for Grand Prix of Qatar? Hi, I'm Minna and this is The Roundup. Here are the top stories making headlines in Qatar today. Qatar's Foreign Minister Sheikh Mohammed bin Abdurrahman Al Thani has called for the protection of Ukraine's territorial integrity as Russia continues to carry out a full-scale invasion of the country. The official also stated that it's critical at this stage to engage in constructive dialogue with diplomatic means to put an end to the conflict. The war has caused over 200,000 people, mostly children, women, elderly men, to seek refuge in Poland. Also addressing Palestine, the minister slammed the ongoing illegal occupation by Israel, describing it as one of the worst ongoing humanitarian crises. Meanwhile, Airbus has reportedly filed a $220 million claim against Qatar Airways in damages for two undelivered A350 jets to the airline and recovered millions of dollars worth of credits. This comes after Qatar Airways decided to ground two additional A350s shortly after another 22 were grounded. The airline's decision came after discovered defects that it stated caused safety issues, a claim the plane manufacturer denies. A hearing is scheduled to take place in April to settle the dispute, so make sure to keep an eye on the news. And a new UN report reveals that the window to secure a livable future is closing. Scientists are warning that climate change is accelerating droughts, floods, heat waves, and other extreme weather conditions. The catastrophe is affecting all countries around the world, including inhabited regions. Some areas, however, are more at risk than others. Between 3.3 and 3.6 billion people live in areas highly vulnerable to climate change. However, there are still ways to adapt to help save the environment. And finally, all motorcycle enthusiasts can now get their hands on the much-awaited Grand Prix of Qatar and witness the world champions fighting fiercely for the grand title. The competition is set to kick off on March 4th and will feature 24 globally loved riders battling for the grand title. Thanks for watching, but if you want to know more, make sure to head over to our website, dohanews.com.